Hello everyone, so we are the Braun Fan Brenners group. So before we start, let us all put ourselves in the presence of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we praise and glorify your holy name. We are humbly asking for your divine guidance as we begin our online class today. May you give us the knowledge and wisdom to understand our lesson and attentiveness and strength to accomplish the tasks that we have for this day. May everything that we do and learn find its origin in your wisdom. And through you, may we find its purpose in our life, in our home, friends, our neighbors, today and in the future. Holy Spirit, come flood our place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for to overcome by your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So together with me are Miss Pearl Raiz Danyedo and Raquel Aliana Aguilar Torres. So we are going to present to you Braun Fenbrenner's Ecological Theory. So who is the author of this? The author of this is Yuri Braun Fenbrenner, who wrote over 300 research papers and 14 books. He achieved the title of Jacob Gold Sherman, Professor Emeritus of Human Development at Cornell University. He received a bachelor's in psychology and music from Cornell University in Ithaca, New York in 1938. He also earned a master's in education from Harvard in 1940 and a doctorate in developmental psychology. He said that children need people in order to become human. As the saying goes, no man is an island. Okay, so we're going to talk about the layers of Braun Van Brenner's ecological theory. So Braun Van Brenner's model also known as the bioecological systems theory presents child development within the context of relationship systems that comprise the child's environment. It describes multi-part layers of environment that has an effect on the development of the child. Each layer is further made up of different structures. The term bioecological points out that a child's own biological makeup impacts as a key factor in one's development. Through the child's growing and developing body and the interplay between his immediate family, community, environment, and the societal landscape fuels and steers his development. Changes or conflict in any one layer will ripple throughout other layers. To study a child's development then, we must look not only at the child and her immediate environment, but also at the interaction of the larger environment as well. So let us now present to you Braun Fan Brenner's bioecological model and the structure of environment. So Braun Fan Brenner's ecological systems that an individual interacted with, each nested within the others. So presented from the closest to the person, which is the microsystem, and to the person, to the first, to the furthest. So it's chronosystem. So the closest is microsystem, followed by mesosystem, then exosystem, then macrosystem, and the chronosystem. Okay. So what is microsystem? The prefix micro comes from the Greek for small and is the first and most immediate layer of the nested systems. 
It encompasses an individual's human relationships, interpersonal interactions, and immediate surroundings. And an example of this system would be the relationship between an individual and his or her parents, siblings, neighbors, or a school environment. Again, microsystem includes immediate environments where the child has the most interactions. The child is affected by the behavior and beliefs of the parents. However, the child also affects the behavior and beliefs of the parents. Bronfenbrenner calls this by directional influences, similar to what Erickson termed as mutuality in his psychosocial theory. Then, followed by the mesosystem, the second layer from the individual surrounding is the microsystem. It encompasses the different interactions between the characters of the microsystem. For example, the relationship between the individual's family and their school teachers or administrators. In order for an interaction to be considered part of the meso system, it has to be a direct interaction between two aspects of the microsystem that influences the development of the child. So this involves the relationships between the microsystem and the broader environment. Like for example, school, health services, and the church. Next is the exosystem. This is the third layer and contains elements of the microsystem which do not affect the individual directly but may do so indirectly. For example, if a parent were to lose their job or have their hours cut back, this would affect their child in an indirect way such as financial strain or increased parental stress. So this is the social settings that affect but do not directly include the child. Okay, And we have the macro system. The pre prefix macro comes from the Greek for large and is used because this system was thought to be all-encompassing. The fourth and outermost layer of the bioecological model encompasses cultural and societal beliefs and programming that influence an individual's development. Examples of this would include gender norms or religious influence. So again, macrosystem is the culture in which the child lives. Like for example, form of government, economic system, system of laws, and educational system. Bronfan Brenner's early model of the bioecological system has sometimes been criticized for not emphasizing the active role of the individual in his or her own development. As such, sometimes the individual's own bio bioecological and identifying characteristics such as age, health, sex or gender are considered the unofficial first layer of the nested systems. In later iterations, a fifth stage is considered part of the bioecological system or model called the chrono system. Okay, so the chrono system focuses on the interaction between the various systems and how they affect one another over time. One instance of this would be parents scolding a child for disobedience, which is an instance of microsystem, macrosystem interaction. While the parents are members of the microsystem, they are for they are reinforcing a cultural belief that children should always listen to their parents. The assumption of this is that over time would be obedient. So chronosystem is the dimension of time. These are the environmental changes or changing personal and societal conditions, life transitions, and social historical events that occur over the life course. 
Bronfen Brenner's early model of the bioecological system has sometimes been criticized for not emphasizing the active role of the individual in his or her own development. As such, sometimes the individual's own biological and identifying characteristics such as age, health, sex or gender are considered the unofficial first layer of the nested systems. This model was later adopted to include the chrono system based on four establishing principles and their interactions which were Braun Brenner's original basis for the bioecological theory. Process, person, context, and time, or we call it the PPCT. First, let's talk about the process. The process is the developmental processes that happen through the systematic interactions mentioned above. What Bronfen Brenner referred to as proximal processes function as the primary mechanism of an individual's development. Person, this principle was established to indicate the role of the individual and their personal characteristics in social interactions and their individual development. These characteristics include age, sex, gender, physical or mental health, and others. Some of these characteristics are more visible than others, and as such, are more easily measured over time. And then followed by context. The now five systems of the bioecological model serve as the context for an individual's development. The micro, meso, exo, macro, and the chrono systems. So this time, let's talk about the chrono system or time, the most essential element of the bioecological model. Because this model measures an individual's development, these interactions occur on a measurable chronological scale. Time influences the systemic interactions within an individual's lifespan, as well as across generations, such as in the case of family values, a set of morals or beliefs that are passed down between generations and shape development. This would be an example of microsystem interaction over time. Brunfen Brenner concluded that the instability and unpredictability of family life is the most destructive force to a child's development. Researchers tell us that absence or lack of children's constant mutual interaction with important adults has negative effects on their development. According to the bioecological theory, if the relationships in the immediate microsystem break down, the child will not have the tools to explore other parts of his environment. Children looking for affirmations that be in the child or parent relationship present look for attention in inappropriate places. These deficiencies show themselves especially in adolescence as antisocial behavior, lack of discipline, and inability to provide self-direction. Bronfen Brenner's theory reminds the school and the teachers of their very important role if there is a lack of support, care, and affection from home. If there is a serious breakdown of the basic relationships in a child's life, what can the school, the teachers in particular, do? This theory helps teachers look into every child's environmental systems in order to understand more about the characteristics and needs of each child, each learner. The schools and the teachers can contribute 
stability, and long-term relationships, but only to support and not replace the relationships in the home. Braun Van Brenner believes that the primary relationship needs to be with someone who can provide a sense of caring that is meant to last a lifetime. This relationship must be fostered by a person or people within the immediate sphere of the child's influence. Schools and teachers' crucial role is not to replace the lock in the home if such exists, but to work so that the school becomes an environment that welcomes and nurtures families. Braun van Brenner also stressed that society should value work done on behalf of children at all levels and consequently value parents, teachers, extended family, mentors, work supervisors, and legislators. And that ends our report about Braun van Brenner's bioecological system. So, before we end, let us all pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the food we eat, for the air we breathe, and for keeping our family healthy. Thank you for the lessons we have learned and still to be learned on this online class. Sorry for the mistakes we have made. Always take care of our family, our teachers, and our classmates. Father God, guide and protect each and every one of us, especially during this time of pandemic. Please make the world a better place. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, classmates. And that's all for our Braun Fan Brenner's group. God bless. The child 